What is up, boys and girls? Hope you guys are having a fantastic day today. Um, so today we're gonna be showing you how to install EUP, aka Emergency Uniform Pack. Um, hope you guys enjoy. If you do, make sure you hit the subscribe button, hit the like button. Let's get straight into it. First things first, we're gonna find our main directory. So you wanna load up Steam. <clears throat> Go to your Grand F Auto, right click here, go to properties, go to local files, go browse. And it will take it will take you to your main folder. Second thing you wanna do, I'll leave the links for all this stuff that we need in the description. What you wanna do is EEP menu first, we'll download this file, agree and download. That will take five seconds. Now, uh, law and order. Also, want to download this. Now, go to the um, go OIV. Okay, this will be much faster and less hassle than downloading uh, zip files. Same with serve and rescue. Go download this file. Uh, make sure it's OIV. Much easier and faster. Now, what you also want to do is download script hook v plus native trainer and community script hook v.net okay i'm gonna download both these so just to make sure i have the updated version version in my gda5 main directory you also want to do script hook v net now for, for dot net you want to go code and go download zip now you can close out of all of these you will need open iv i already have mine installed I'll not be showing you how to install this today, I have in my other videos, check them out. Okay, that's basically all we need for that. Okay. Uh, okay, so I accidentally closed out at the wrong time. Give me a minute while I reinstall all those. Okay, while well, I let those two things download, which is 7 Rescue and what, I did download these ones. Okay. <clears throat> so I got Script Hook V. Uh, EUP and zip uh, and script hook v.net. I'm gonna show you guys how to install those. Um, okay, so I'll do the script hook v and .net first. So script hook v, you wanna go to bin. You wanna copy all these except native trainer. Copy, drag those into the right side of your main directory. Oh, mine will say replace because I already have those. I'm going to replace them. Okay, now you wanna get out of those. Okay. Uh, script hook v.net same thing you want to copy everything but uh, license and readme uh, I think that's it now you want to go to the right side drag and drop uh, apparently I don't have enough space so uh, I already have it in there so I don't really need to do that but uh I don't have enough space, so that's nice. Uh -huh. Well, we'll have to do that another time. Anyway, um, second thing, second, we need to open up our open IV, which I already have open. Now, what this is the probably the longest part of this process. You want to go to um, update. Make sure to turn edit mode on, edit mode has to be on, otherwise it will not work. Go to... You want to go to update, x64, DLC packs. Now every single DLC pack you see here, you have to copy to your mods folder. So mp, whatever you want, dlc.rpf, mine will say show the mod folder. But you, it will say for you, copy the mods folder. You have to do that for every single one, okay? It's a long process, but you have to do it for every single one here, see? All these, okay. Pause the video. Do what you need. Um, those all have to be done. Once you have done all that, you now want to go to your EUP menu, okay? Now, I mine will not work yet. I need to free up some space. See when I free it up. Okay, so I freed up some space on my drive. Should be working now. Now, what you want to do for EUP menu? You want to go to files. Um. Plugins. Okay, so what we want to do? Do I have plugins for? Where is? 
Okay, so, so what you want to do for EP man, you want to grab both of these, drag them to the right side of your thing. Actually, maybe not Rage Native UI, maybe install a later version of that because this one was modified 2021. So don't drag that one in unless it's up to date. I probably wouldn't. Um, maybe get one that is up to date for yourself. Uh, I should already have a Rage Native UI. Uh, Apparently I don't, but I'm going to install one of those separately. Um, I will not put a link in this in the bio um, description because uh, probably just I just don't want to. Um, yeah, just grab the plugin to the right side, and that's basically installed. Uh, you can drag the Rage Native, but I do not recommend because it is an older version, and sometimes older versions can um, corrupt your game files, which is not fun to uh, deal with. Um, these files are still downloading. Um, the server and rescue has uh, finished installing. So I am now going to show you how to install that. Now with your, you want to find where you installed those, okay? You want to go to my downloads, okay? Now you want to, uh, where is it? That's not too firm. Okay, you want to grab your server and rescue, drag it to your desktop, okay? Or wherever you want to put it. Now you want to open up your own, uh, open IV. Okay, just go to your normal GDA5 thing. Now you want to go to Tools, Package Installer. Okay. Now you want to go into here, you want to go Desktops, Desktop, or wherever you installed it. You want to double click, okay. On your open I on your OIV, go Install, Mods Folder, Install. Um, mine seemed to crash. But never mind, there we go. And just wait to, for it to install. The OIVs will take a while to install. Hopefully not too long. There we go. And now I'm just waiting for my law and order, which will probably take a while. Okay, so my law and order did finally download. So same process, go to tools, package installer, go to where you installed it. This will be the same for every o, um, dot zero OIV folders like this. Um, be the same for all of them. Mods, install, easy as that. And now we wait. Done. All right, now I'm gonna launch my game and see if it actually worked. Um, it may crash on the first startup. Just restart it. Should work. Um, unless I, unless you've installed it incorrectly. Um, it should be working though. Unless it's just you installed it correctly, or there's a new update come out with GDA5, and I, I don't know. Okay. Okay, as you can see, we have finally loaded into our LSPFR. Um. Mine surprisingly did not crash, okay? So to put the uniforms on you will have to go on duty. So just enter any PlayStation. Wait for it to load. Go on duty. Hopefully it doesn't crash while going on duty. Okay, there we go. Please lock up. Um Okay, so it, it did get installed properly because you see I've got the green taser. This is a different uniform than to the usual. Um, just pull out a car real quick. Okay, so now what you want to do is press F11, and there we go, we've got our EUP menu, so you want to go to... Okay, so apparently I don't have Server and Rescue installed, um, even though I did install it. So we're going to go to our Law and Order, you want to go to anything, I guess. We've got heaps of uniforms, so we got LSPD, we got Patrol Vision, we got Class A, Class B, Class C, Jacket, Raincoat. 
class uh, mo motor unit, class B, C, uh, utility, class B, C, traffic, uh, beach detail, detective brew, FBI, and all that. Heaps of uniforms to choose from, man. Specialized uh, bicycle uniforms. Uh, we got Metro Division, K9 units. Uh, we also have a sport team, sport uniform here. Uh, Los Santos Sheriff Department here. Heaps of uniforms, man. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, make sure to like and subscribe. I will see you guys in the next one.